What's up, Wayne Barron here with DrFakes.net, and we are inside of Windows 10 IIS 10. And as you can see here, I'm trying to do a redirect, and my address is uh, IP plus Spotlight slash term. Spotlight is the virtual directory for our website inside of IIS and terms is the page that I'm wanting to bring up. And what I'm doing is that I'm actually doing a 404 page, which uh, once it hits it, it's going to redirect it. So we're gonna come over here. So this is basically what you see once you open up IIS. So we got our default websites and all these ones with the blue check mark beside them, these are virtual websites. So we're going to come all the way down to our spotlight. We're going to choose this one right here, the one with the blue arrow on it. That's just the folder. So right here with spotlight, we're going to come over and we're going to go to error pages. Now, if we come over here to error pages, now I've got inside of my spotlight folder, let's come all the way down here and where you at? Okay, I have a file inside of here, 404.asp, and that's basically where I'm wanting to point this to. So when we come over here to our 404 page, we want to load this. We want to execute a URL. We want to execute error slash 404.asp. And then we click on OK, and now we should be able to load that page right click on it and load and we get a blank page now the reason why we're getting a blank page is because as i mentioned this is a virtual website this is not an actual website uh like you would do you would right click on it and you would add a website this is a virtual directory and that is because in IIS that comes shipped with any Windows operating system. I am not referring to servers. I am referring to the operating system. Your workstation will only allow you to uh, do one website, but you can do as many virtual websites as you desire. So that is the reason why we have to do another little trick in order to make our 404 page load which you see it's not loading and the reason why it's not loading is because it cannot find anything inside of the default website that would tell it what to do with the word terms so once we come down here let's go right back into spotlight and then bring up in our error page and what we want to do here is that we want to add in something else and our bring this back open again this is our directory okay this is where we have to look this is our directory okay once we come over here we're going to type in another forward slash and then we're going to put in the directory folder that is the uh the spotlight.news folder for the new website and this is where it's at we click okay now and then reload the page and voila we get our error from the 404.asp page so that is how you do a 404 redirect or a 404 custom error page inside of windows 10 windows 8 windows 8.1 windows 7 and most likely inside of Windows Vista as well, inside of their versions of IIS. I am Wayne Barron. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.